basically commuters, you know, driving down mm. Forbes Street, they be cruising down, you know, there's, yeah. there's grey, there's, there's blacks, there's you know, neutral colours and some green trees. Suddenly they'll go like, well, what, like, what the hell was that? Yeah. They were, it, it, exactly what the right. hell? They've yeah. got to stop. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, suddenly got, yeah. it stimulates it stimulates thought and it exactly. excites people Pretty much going. Tommy style. Yeah. <laughs> like I remember walking into your studio down at, um, where is it? Uh, City Car Park? City West Car Park. City West Car Park, yeah. You're getting blown away with a yeah, pretty once, yeah, it's not just the high art, level yeah, of colour and, yeah. and vibrancy. And when the lights shine, because part of the installation that we're going to do is not just going to be the artwork up against the wall, we're going to have some uh, coloured LED lighting. Yeah, that's correct. Which, yes. um, what it does, it, cr it filters some of the colours yeah, so, from the artwork yeah. and turns it into a completely different piece. That's so true. I can imagine that different times of the day versus night, we'd have a system set up where the lights um, it's an evolving artwork. Almost, evolving, yeah. It? yeah. Or changes. just every day it just changes to changes a different colour. The, yeah, the day. Yeah. yeah. That's right. So it's a, it's a transitional artwork that, that kind of shifts um, within the space that it's in. It's got this kind of um, adaptability because there's uh, so many ways to shift and change this artwork. So there's so many different kind of layers and characters within the same piece. What I'm kind of excited about um, with this project is the other kind of level is that uh, that I'm an artist, a visual artist, who's working with builder and, and architects and designers and things like that um, in order to create a kind of vision for uh, what could be the future of visual art fusing with architecture in this way. I was able to kind of picture what, what kind of motif and what structure would work well um, to bring in people into that space as a communal space, you know. Your, your style, uh it's all about flow, paint is flowing. Um, just tell us about your, your style, how, how, you, how you made this artwork. With this one, I, I worked within a kind of multi-layered um, kind of piece so that you have certain kinds of motif elements coming in when it's backlit, but there are other motif elements coming in when it's frontlit. So then you've got this kind of duality thing going on. Um, so the way that I kind of work with, like the way that I think about my artworks is that I incorporate a lot of organic flow into the pieces and then at some points I would disrupt it so that you would have this, uh, there's like a different energy flow through it and then with this particular project I tried to work out how uh, that energy flow would come through like, fr like from the wall and from the entrance and how it all kind of works, how it all interrelates. The verticality of it, I mean it's a six metre work, it's almost two storeys. I've never made a piece that tall. What have, yeah. what have you named the, the artwork? So the piece is called Odyssey and it's a metaphor, it's a visual metaphor for actually uh, kind of like travelling through the piece. Obviously when you look at it from far away, from outside of the street, mm -hmm. you can see it all in its entirety. Yep. When you get up close, mm -hmm. you start to see little, little details and elements of, uh, of, of your creative art yep. and, um, and it's almost like every time you go back to the artwork there's new elements that you never noticed before that you start to pick up and go wow I didn't notice that yeah. before the, 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 they had one the are off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true <laughs> there's one section it looks like a maelstrom yeah. 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 and then other sections look you know nice and, uh, and calming um, and, yep. and, it, yep. and it looks almost like uh, some alien landscape from, from the orbit it, it's, that's right, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Well, well, well the piece opens up your imagination so that mm. when you view it like you view it in one perspective you'll see it that way and you'll see these forms in it and it's representational in that way and I don't know like it conjures up different memories for different people and under different lighting conditions it, it again kind of um, uh, unearths different characters within the piece and then it kind of uh, kind of changes the energy within that space probably because it's evolving and it's always changing based on the colours, yeah. you're, you're really, there, there's a bit of shock factor there when a resident or a visitor comes to us and goes, hang on, wasn't that artwork <laughs> different coloured before? Exactly. Now it's all of a sudden it's black and orange when before it was all these bright colours. It's, it's amazing what the, the light and, and well, UV can oh, do. It's, very, it. it's an interpretation piece, isn't it? Like you really, as an individual with all your other artwork, you sort of look at it and you your opinion of it is very different to someone else's. It's very, it's very abstract.